Welcome to Concept in Medicine. In today's tutorial, we are going to be talking about levels of a disease. First of all, I want to let you know that the level of a disease is dependent on the occurrence, the incidence, the prevalence, and the intensity of the disease in that particular geographical location or in that particular community or in that population. So we can say that the level of a disease is indeed an analysis of a population under study. So for the level of a disease, we are going to group them into two. That is going to be endemic and non-endemic. So let's start first by looking at the endemic and its subtypes. When we say a condition or a disease is endemic, what do we mean by that? So when we say endemic, it refers to the constant, the constant presence of a disease in a defined geographical area or in a defined population or a specified population within normal expectancy. If I say within normal expectancy, it means that if we take, for example, malaria in a particular community or population, in a year, they expect about 500 cases in that particular community or geographical area. And every year, they will get cases within 500. That will make the malaria endemic. So we say endemic, it refers to the constant presence of a disease in a specified population within normal expectancy. It means that it falls within the usual frequency. We refer to that as endemic. For the endemic, we can subdivide it into four, four types. What are they? We are looking at hyperendemic. We are talking about hollow endemic. We are talking again about hypoendemic and finally mesoendemic. Now let's take a look at each of them. When we say a condition is hyperendemic, look, we have hyper meaning that it is high, then endemic. So when we say hyperendemic, what are we referring to? For hyperendemic, it refers to the constant presence of a disease at high incidence and or prevalence rates and as such affects all age group equally so when we say hyperendemic once again it means that it is going to be at a high incidence and or prevalence rate and again remember it affects all age groups equally everyone is going to be affected equally or we can also see that Hyperendemic refers to the persistent high number of a disease in a particular geographical area under study. That is hyperendemic. Now, let's move to the next one. That is hollow endemic. When we say hollow endemic, look, hollow means everyone. Every it means all. Then we have endemic. So when we say hollow endemic, simply we are referring to a condition which has a constant presence, all right, but it is having a higher incidence which begins at early age, such that almost every child is affected. That is at the early age, and by so doing, does not affect all age group equally. So with that being said, hollow means all, affects the children population, almost all of them. That is why we are calling it hollow. And by so doing, the older generation or the adults will now have adaptive immunity. So it tells you that if you are young, you will possibly get that particular disease. And as you grow, you develop what? Adaptive immunity. So with that, we will say that for hollow endemic, the children population express pathologic responses. Whilst the adult population, they are usually asymptomatic due to 
the adaptive immunity that they have acquired whilst they were young. So we term that as what? Hollow endemic. Now, the next one is going to be hypoendemic. By the way, hypo means it's low. So what is hypoendemic? It refers to an endemic condition or disease with a low rate of infection or transmissibility. So with that, we are saying that the incidence of a disease is so low that the population does not even develop what immunity. That is what we call hypoendemic. Finally, let's talk about the last side type of the endemic, that is mesoendemic. When we say mesoendemic, simply it refers to an endemic condition or disease having a moderate rate of infection or transmission. We refer to that as mesoendemic. So that will do for the endemic and its subtype. Now let's move on to the next type, the second group, which we refer to us as a non-endemic. When we say non-endemic, it means that definitely it's not going to be at constant levels. It's not going to be constantly present. Now, for the non-endemic, we have four types. We are going to talk about epidemic, outbreak, pandemic, sporadic. Let's take the first one, that is epidemic. When we say epidemic, epi means excess on top. So when we say epidemic, it refers to an increase which is often sudden in the number of conditions or disease or cases in a particular geographical area more than what is expected. We refer to that as what well, epidemic. Or another way we can put it is that it is a certain increase in the number of cases in excess of normal expectancy we refer to that as what epidemic so for example let me give you an example if in a particular geographical area there are usually 10 cases of cholera throughout the whole year then all of a sudden for a particular year the number of cases recorded now is 15 and then we will say that the 15 is in excess of the normal expectancy which is 10 so that makes that cholera in that particular geographical location an epidemic okay the next one we want to talk about this word outbreak when we say outbreak outbreak is similar to an epidemic outbreak is similar to an epidemic the only difference is that for an outbreak an outbreak simply means that there is going to be an increase in the number of cases in excess of normal expectancy, all right? But it is going to be limited to a small geographical area. By epidemic is to a large geographical area. The geographical area considered an epidemic is greater than that in outbreak. Outbreak is to a small geographical area, but an epidemic is to a large geographical area. Now the next one is pandemic. When we say pandemic, simply it refers to what? An epidemic that has spread across several countries or continents. It means the geographical boundary for a pandemic is greater than that of what? Epidemic. An example, influenza and very popular the novel coronavirus that is a pandemic because it has spread from one country to several countries so if we take the novel coronavirus it has spread from the city of Wuhan to several countries across several continents that makes it a pandemic the same thing applies to the influenza it has also spread from one country to several countries so for pandemic it is out of control it cannot be under control that's why we call it pandemic but if you watch pan pan means what every so it has spread to almost every country that's why we are calling pandemic there's a difference between pandemic and epidemic now listen for pandemic it covers a wider geographical area than what epidemic and you should also know that pandemic it is out of control whilst epidemic is under control is under control then finally sporadic when we say sporadic it refers to a disease or a condition that occurs infrequently 
and irregularly. It means that it does not have any constant pre presence. It barely happens. It comes out of nowhere. It happens infrequently and irregularly. So for sporadic, refers to what? Condition or disease that occurs infrequently and irregularly. I will be leaving a set of questions for you to solve. Kindly leave your answers in the commentary section. I'll be reviewing them later. So with that being said, we've come to the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for sitting through the lesson. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, share and recommend your friends. And don't forget to leave the next concept you would like to see on my channel in the commentary session. My name is Dr. Adele and once again, this is Concept in Medicine. Bye-bye.